Greetings fellow adventurers, my name is Vitaly Yehain and welcome to Angry Video Game Nerd Season 2 and I am actually gonna split this one into multiple parts because it's very long and also I am sick, just so you know in case I sound a bit weird my nose is kinda blocked, my throat is in shambles, everything is horrible <laughs> but I am excited to see where this goes after Season 1 which was very fun it was very fun so let's go and react to this here we go Oh, look at that. This All of these is old games. Game. This yes, is what is. you immediately think of whenever you hear the term. It's the Atari 2600, and it defines the word classic. Oh, <laughs> that just feels like we live in a very different world, because it's true. We kind of do. The world, you know, he's talking about right now compared to the world I was, you know, raised into is so different. When it, like... All the way back then, I guess, yeah, you think of a video game, you think of whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. To me, I think of a video game today, I think of, like, Witcher 3, for example. That's what I think of myself, so it's a very different world. Even though the games are so simple and the graphics so primitive, it has a charm that will never be matched. The heck is that? Wait, that's actually what you play the games with? It's like, a, you know, the, 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 the gear stick thing from the car, whatever it's called. It's like one of those, almost. Look at that. The objects and characters just barely represent what they're supposed to be, but that's the whole beauty of it, that you have to use your imagination. And that's way to, to, one way to look at it. Just awesome. And the lack of music just enhances the mood. <clears throat> it's that special kind of atmosphere when it's in the middle of the night and you're sitting to glow <laughs> your TV with the sound of crickets. Yeah, that, yeah that's, the that seems exactly like what you want to do. <laughs> Sit in the middle of your room in complete darkness, just looking at this. I mean, I feel like... Hmm... If it was something like a horror game, then, yeah, this would be the perfect setup. Atari had the longest lifespan of any home video game system, and when people say Atari, they're usually <clears throat> referring to the 2600. But oh, it had in between the... its existence... It had the longest lifespan at the time of any console? Wow. Atari made other systems which came and went. And one of these was the Atari 5200. It was meant to How replace many? the 2600, although ironically, it failed and faded away. While How the heck did like a newer one actually fail and the old one got, was the one that kept going? Like, how the heck did that happen? While the 2600 lived on. Why don't many people remember this and why did it die off so quick? Yeah, good questions. Yeah. What, what happened? Because it's a pile of fucking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Why did I expect anything well, better? <laughs> just look at it. Look at how sh I mean, I was gonna say, is that supposed to be like very big or something? Is that the problem? Because I don't know how big these are supposed to be. Huge this beast is. It's ginormous. And why is there a door on it? Is this a video game console or a fucking closet? <laughs> Actually, what is that? The AC adapter weighs a million tons. <laughs> Wow, that is a, yeah, that's a huge that's a huge adapter or whatever that is. So I'm gonna plug this son of a bitch in here. There we go. Get How many things does he have there? Wait, <laughs> let me see that again for a second. How many things are there? What the heck? There we go. Get all this shit out of the way. Now where do oh, I plug cables. the other end in? Doesn't it go into the Atari? Well, you can look all over the system, but there's no power connector. There's what? a separate box that you have to plug it in. Now, seriously, have you ever seen one of these? Other than the Atari 5200, I haven't. So, there's the console, there's the adapter, and then there's also a separate weird little thing, box thingy. Huh? What the heck? So, you plug this bastard in. Then there's this one wire coming out of the system, so you plug that into the box. Whoa, <laughs> did you see that? That can't be good. Wait, was that actually real or was that actually edited? I cannot tell. I cannot tell. Look, sparks. No joke. So if that anyway, was real, the that AC adapter big. and TV actually share the same wire. So I don't know what they were thinking. I mean, maybe they were thinking it would be more convenient to have less wires running across your floor. But they knew that they fucked up because later they re-released the Atari 5200 with the traditional two separate wires instead of just, you know, this thing. But that one had... I mean, that's just an extra thing to worry about breaking at that point, right? <laughs> instead of just having the, you know, just the default 
having an extra little thingy that might also like break and you have to replace that or repair that. Oh, that, yeah, that's, a, that's just a, a whole another like, hassle for no reason. Two controller ports instead of four, I think. Now, we want to hook this thing up to that TV, but it's not going to be easy. I mean, just look at all these games, and every one of them has their own AC adapter and RCA cables, or those weird box things, all going what? into the same TV. I don't even know what he's talking about. You know, that this is how you can tell that I'm not from that generation. I don't even know what he's talking about at all. So, I don't know how we're going to do it, but we got to get back there and plug this sucker in. I was like... When did this come out again? I feel like I was five or six at the time, because I like was this like 2005 or 2006 or something. I don't actually know, but if it was, I was like five or six, yeah, because I'm, I'm a <coughs> damn throat. Yeah, I was born in the 2000, in the year 2000, so yeah. I was a mere child when this came out. A baby. What is he doing? How did people live during those times with such like big like so many cables so much disorganization and everything being so scuffed i guess for them it was the normal so it wasn't weird but for me like seeing all of that is so weird that tv is just out of the question it's a little too busy back there but that's okay because i believe the only true way to play atari is on an old piece of shit like that <laughs> what's even the difference between the, this one and the other one except for like looks because the, the, like, the, the, the display just looks Damn. the same to me. Damn. <laughs> Such a problem. Why does everything have to be so problematic, right? This world always... Damn! Damn! <clears throat> yeah, because damn, it would be such a shame to move that TV or that... Somehow make that like power connector any closer. <laughs> Oh, red cable? What? What? What is that? Why is the music so loud? My ears. Do not tell me that's like, uh, you know, one of those extenders and it's actually that big and weird looking. Ah, <laughs> I can't even laugh. Like, I can't even laugh normally anymore. Whenever I laugh, I feel like I'm choking. <coughs> it's like that. <coughs> but that shall not stop me. You son of a bitch. It hurts me just to look at all of this. Because, like, I put all of my cables so, like, you know... All of my cables are, like, neatly placed. At least, they are all, like, basically together and stuff a lot of them have like uh what are those things called you know the little zip ties or whatever they are called the things where you like you know zip them together and they go to places that are like not exactly where you can touch them randomly so everything is kind of just you know very so at least decently organized seeing all of this is so <laughs> interesting let's say interesting yeah I know there's even people these days that have cable management that are like that. Now, after all that trouble I went through, let's play some damn games. Well, we haven't played the games yet, but I can definitely tell you the cartridges suck because. Oh, is the whole season gonna be about the Atari games or something? They don't have N labels. I mean, come on. Atari, like. The, the two 5200 games or something the atari 2600 games were all conveniently labeled so you can easily pick out a game but the 5200 you have to pull each one out to see them i mean what a oh. bunch of shit i mean <laughs> i feel like is that really i mean it's less convenient i guess you have a point there but still huh all right, let's try this one out. So, okay, here we go. Space now, Invaders? Listen, when you hit the power button, the box makes this weird clicking sound. I'm afraid this thing might blow up. <laughs> but, like, what's exactly different? 
between this and the 2600 one? Does it support newer games? More quality? Because like so far, the one you put in right now just looks the same as the you know the older stuff I've seen so far in season one, if not even worse. <laughs> So like I'm not really sure what we are looking at. Also I don't even know what console they were being played on in the last season because I forgot already. What is happening? This controller is a piece of shit. The heck is he holding right now? Is I cannot tell if that's a physical thing that he's holding right now and what it is or if that's actually just added in with editing i cannot literally cannot tell what's the most important aspect about any fucking game will be what uh working being able to fucking play it and what do you need yep. to fucking play it a fucking controller <laughs> so what do you do when the controller doesn't work you're fucked this is the reason the system failed this in the name of god heaven and hell everything in between every creature on earth by the far reaches of the galaxy, by the inner rims of the universe, and <laughs> every megaverse in the ultraverse, let it be known. Let the word be known. This controller is fucking horrible. But like, what happened? Did, did, did it come like a uh, malfunctioning for many units? Or what is the problem exactly? Why, did, why is it not working? Oh, actually, what is that for? Is that supposed to be like a place to store your games? Your like uh, cartridges or whatever, or is that really just to store like the controller maybe or something? Like what? What is it? I mean, he's holding beer there, but I don't think that's the intended purpose. Well, tell you the truth, it is true that the controllers were notorious for malfunction, but they were pretty. Also, that is the problem. Oh, also look at that. Um, what was his name? Oh, I'm trying so hard to remember his name right now. Doctor. Wiley, Dr. Wiley. I don't know why for some reason in the past they kept calling him Dr. Willy. <laughs> Dr. Willy. <laughs> but no, he's Dr. Wiley. Innovative for their time. At least I think it's him. I, I'm not even sure because there's something weird in the, in the background and I'm not sure what that is. For one thing, they're analog, so they're capable of more. Also, wait, what did he say? They were pretty innovative for their time. Oh. For one thing, they're analog, so they're capable of more sensitive movement. They also have a pause button, which, believe it or not, was a new thing back then. Also, there's these two buttons on each side, which I think was a bit excessive for these type of games. Then there's all these numeric buttons. Like, what the shit is this? Is this thing a phone? <laughs> like, what is all this for? Is it like talking to intergalactic space aliens, or flying fuckernauts, or astro bastards? Did they start implementing games with, uh, with numbers, or like, to, to, to type codes or something? Now there's another one, the trackball controller, but it's an ungodly abomination that begs for apocalypse. <laughs> no, not the music again. Ow, my ears. Look at it. It's like as big as a VCR DVD player. It's big enough to be the game system, let alone the controller. Look, Actually, yeah. It's almost as big as a Nintendo. I mean, no, look, I think it's slightly bigger than the... Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Was that what the games were, were on the last like season? Were they on the Nintendo consoles? I, I really just can't remember what... The, the, I'm not used to any of these things, so I just... I cannot remember them. The Nintendo. What a beast! But the ultimate question is, does it work? Well, does it? No? I feel like the <clears throat> I feel like this is not the kind of thing that would be that hard to create and implement. No, so why is it, it not doesn't. working? Even for that time. What a piece of shit. Well, we can't play the games, but we could at least look at them. <laughs> yeah, just gonna. <laughs> yep. We don't have to stand for this shit. There exist alternatives. Did you know that you can plug a Sega Genesis controller into an Atari 20? Wow. I'm so fascinated just by seeing all of these, like, uh, controllers and stuff that I've never seen. The only single controller... No, there's two. The only ones I know are the PS5 one now and the Xbox 360 because that's the only one... <laughs> the Xbox 360 is the only one I personally have and never use. So, I just have it for some reason. I got it like many years ago and never used it. I just have it. So yeah, that, 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 that's all. That's all I know. 2600 and it'll work. See, that's the interesting thing about Atari. You 
Oh, and the PS1 just because of YouTubers. I'm just seeing it like with YouTubers, and that's the only reason. You can find all kinds of different stuff that's compatible. As for the 5200, there exists third-party controllers made for the reason of replacing the shitty controller that the system came with. So, let's take a trip into the cyber world known as the internet and take a look. Oh! Look at that old PC! Oh, wow! There we go. Twenty dollars! <laughs> All right. Oh, it just comes like that okay. without like Let's... any any bag, just straight in the whatever those things are called, Play the flakes. Bitch. And it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. Fuck! <laughs> Oh, wait, is that the end of that one? Ghostbusters, it was... Ghostbusters, do you know that, that meme song about not... nothing? <laughs> With the singer? <laughs> uh, I forgot the name. I, for I literally forgot the name. It was one of the most successful comedies of the 80s, and one of the most popular franchises I remember as a kid. There's a sequel oh, the song, there we go. series that ran for seven seasons. An Invisible Man, huge amount sleeping of in your bed. <laughs> the, I love things. the meme one. You got the Firehouse, which was awesome. You got the Ecto-1, you got Slimer, the Marshmallow Man. Yeah, he's a little dirty, you know. The dog shoved him up his ass. You had all the Ghostbusters, then they came out with version. I can't listen. I literally cannot listen to what he's saying because my that the meme song is playing in my head like along with the song being played in the background. I cannot focus on what he's saying. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it! You got the Ecto-1, you got Slimer, the Marshmallow Man. Yeah, he's a little dirty, you know. The dog shoved him up his ass. You had all the. I can't stop it. <laughs> Especially when like it plays here, we start playing here. I'm like, you know, that part of the song where it goes like. Uh, then there's this car that turns into wait, some praying mantis or something. Oh. Then you had. Okay, we're we're past the part. Good. I'd not go back like far enough for it to play again. So I managed to actually focus this time. <laughs> all these weird ones I don't even remember from the show. But those this are kind of cool. Oh, that's not mine. Get that the fuck out of here. Except, yeah, except for that. Every kid on the block <laughs> needed a proton pack, and even though oh. it's plastic, in our minds, it's an unlicensed nuclear accelerator. <laughs> it's a vacuum. Then you got the ghost trap, which doesn't work anymore because it's a piece of shit. Then you got the PKE <laughs> meter, which always reads .03 and always shows a ghost. So, I just want... I guess you're just always haunted, that's wanted all. I wanted to take you back to the 80s, when Ghostbusters and Nintendo were the best things in the world. <laughs> now, the Nintendo Entertainment System, I believe, needs no introduction. So, when we heard that a Ghostbusters game for Nintendo was coming out, we were so excited, we shit our pants. Literally. Don't tell me it's basically like in Season 1, <laughs> where a company tried to, you know, exploit, like, the name of something popular and this just flopped the whole thing. Shit came out of our asses and we rocketed through the roof. <laughs> what the heck? It was two of our favorite things coming together. Should have been like bread and butter. <clears throat> more like dead skunk and dog shit. You pop this piece of crap. So much, so much defecation all the time. So much defecation. Crap in, expecting Ghostbusters, and what do you get? Well, Ghostbusters, got the logo there, looks promising enough, but are you willing to bet that it's going to get really bad once you start playing? Yeah, no? well, guess oh. what? It gets bad as soon as you press the start button. Oh, what happened? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> what the heck was that? It sounded like somebody was holding the guy that says Ghostbuster by, by, the, by the throat while they, were have, while they have like a, a, a duffel bag over their head and, you know, being held at gunpoint saying the thing. <laughs> what the heck? The fuck was that? Yeah. Or more like he died and became the ghost himself, and he's still, you know, he still has to, you know, to fulfill the contract. Ghostbusters! <laughs> now, don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to criticize the game for its lack of voice clarity. You know, for once, I guess, criticizing the game might actually be very justified, for once. But you hear how bad this sounds? Let this like, yeah. set the tone for the rest of the game. So here's the main screen. <clears throat> this is it. This is Ghostbusters on Nintendo. This is my wasted childhood you're looking at. I don't even need to comment. Just look at it. It shits for the birds. 
okay, we gotta come up with a game about Ghostbusters, what can we do? How about just have the Ghostbusters logo floating around playing tag with cute little yellow ghosts? So if you like Ghostbusters, it's right up your alley. I mean, at least the music is good. <laughs> More like up your ass. Now for music, you got the Ghostbusters theme song, which sounds like a decent 8-bit rendition, but there's one problem. It's the only song... I somehow knew he was gonna say that because that was the problem with most of the things in the first season as well. In the whole game, and it never, ever stops. It seems to be kind of a... I don't know, like kind of a team with some of, so many of these old games where they just play one song. It starts playing from the first screen all the way to the end of the game. It drones over you, makes your brain go numb, and then when it gets to the end of the song... So wait, are you telling me that this is actually the game? I thought this was like the level selection screen and like each one of the buildings is a level you go into. Are you telling me like this is actually just the, the game? It pauses for a second, then it loops again. So you better get used to it. But let me tell you, that one second when the music stops, it feels so satisfying to hear dead silence, even for just one brief moment to put your mind at peace. <laughs> so seriously, what am I doing? Why am I just a Ghostbusters logo floating around playing tag with ghosts? Well, from what I understand, the more ghosts that go into the Zool building in the center, the more the PKE energy goes up, I guess. And what happens when it goes up all the way? I don't know, so the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man appears or some shit like that. What the but heck is that? I'm not here the to try man. And figure out how the game works. The I'm here goes. to tell my experience as a gamer. He nutted so hard he blew up the whole building. <laughs> Just like that one coming Homelander thing where he destroyed the person by you know, doing that too hard. Now, what am I trying to do? What is this white box that keeps appearing when I press the B button? Well, I'll explain later. So, here's what you're supposed to do. You need to find which buildings have ghosts in them. And they vary at any point in the game. So you need to go around the city, and when you touch certain buildings, they blink red. And that means that there's a ghost in there. You try to enter, and oops, you can't do that yet. You need to buy your proton pack and ghost traps. You need the, the beam. Ghostbusters don't have their own equipment, so they have to go buy it from a store. <laughs> well, you're just a new and experienced Ghostbusters team, of course, not the main one. You're just a B team. That doesn't have anything yet going for them. So this is it. This is the ghost busting store. When and where would there ever exist a store that sells equipment for catching ghosts? Fair point. And if the Ghostbusters aren't inventing their own gadgets, then who the hell is? Yeah, anyway, yeah, good buy question. Your shit, then get out. Now we can see that that weird white box shows you what equipment you have, and you can hold four items at a time. Go find a blinking red building and then go in. Now you're in. Oh, you can go inside, so it is like level select after all. The Ecto-1, driving down the road, and why you still have to drive to the building is beyond me. On the map screen, it looks like you're right there, and when you move all around, you don't have to drive. Only when you're already at the building do you need to drive there. Well, every other car in the city is out to hit you. They move... So it's a racing game? <laughs> what the... Back what? and forth, nobody stays in their lane, so it seems like the city actually has a bigger problem with drunk drivers than it does with ghosts. <laughs> yeah, bad, bad oh, point, actually. What? When the cars hit... That's why there's so many ghosts! You, who has to pay for the damage? You do. That's right, every car that hits you takes a few hundred dollars away. It's bullshit. I guess they just live in America or something. <laughs> so you get to the building to capture the ghosts, drop the trap, catch the ghosts with your beam, bring... But there we go, find the actual game with ghosts. Bring him to the trap, open the trap, and time it so the ghosts get dragged in by that, that white thing that goes up and down. So keep going around, finding buildings to go in, avoid drunken drivers, and catch more ghosts. When you catch mm. ghosts, you get money, and you're gonna need it to buy other stupid shit later. Now there's a time limit, so when you're catching these ghosts, your goal is to catch as many of them as you can. Most of the time, you'll probably be able to get all four of them, but sometimes they go somewhere you can't reach without buying a longer beam. But good luck catching enough of them so you can afford a longer beam. Sometimes so you they do? go Just too wait. low and you can't Help. reach them there either. Now, whatever you do, don't cross the streams. This is an important safety tip thanks to Egon from the movie. It would cause a total <laughs> protonic reversal. Try to imagine all life as you know, stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. I mean, that sounds horrifying, but I don't remember, like, I've seen the Ghostbuster movie, or movies, if there's more, so long ago, I don't remember anything. Now that's epic. 
Oh. Now, every time you catch a ghost, oh, that's you can't cool reuse the same trap. So if you try to enter a building, you might get a message that says you need an empty ghost trap. So you need to go to the Ghostbuster headquarters to empty the traps. When you get there, you may be wait. Go to the Ghostbuster. Wait, is that the headquarters or is the? Do you mean this one? Headquarters. I guess you mean this one. To empty the traps. I was gonna be like, wait, that just looks like a normal building, but I guess you mean the one at the bottom here. When you get there, you may be baffled to see that the size of the car is the same size of the building. So as you're constantly <laughs> running around, you just have a big car. That's all. Keep running that out expensive. Of gas. That's right. You can run out of gas in the game. How do you get gas? You need to go to the gas station. What happens if you run out of gas? Two little fuckballs get out to push the car. Do you really have to go to the gas station at all? No, you can also slam in the gas tanks on the highway. So fuck oh. the gas station. I wish it was that easy in real life. Gas, <laughs> just run over the gas containers. So, because needing to get gas, needing to empty your ghost traps, and needing to buy stupid shit are all such a big part of the game. So what the problem is, a lot of like, micromanagement and also the fact that gameplay is kind of you know all over the place it would be wise from the beginning to buy a super trap as one of your first items this trap you don't need to empty so the regular trap is just a piece of crap another oh. thing you might want to buy is the ghost vacuum it's a vacuum that goes on the top of your car to suck ghosts in which is a good idea to get a little extra money so you can hopefully oh. make up for some damage that the drunk drivers cause so you can actually make basically a build in a way technically that is very effective a ghost vacuum does there exist any store that sells a ghost vacuum and how is that different from from a normal vacuum is the question ah huh. let's find out oh what hi do you sell vacuums uh, yeah. um yeah uh, i'm looking for a special kind of vacuum it's like shaped like a funnel sort of it's like shaped like a funnel. Like you put it on the what? roof of your car. You want a vacuum to clean your car? Um, did he actually call a convenience store something? Some kind of store? There is no way he did not just call a friend and just make this whole big bet. But considering how crazy he seems, I'm actually genuinely somewhat like actually believing that it's actually for real for real. Which is terrifying. And funny at the same time. No, you put it on the top of your car. Like while you're driving. To, 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 you want a vacuum to clean. No, you, you know, car. these vacuums are for catching ghosts. <laughs> I'm, uh, no. No. Well, apparently these vacuums don't exist in real life. So if you want to suck up ghosts on the roof of your car, you're going to have to do it in this game. Really hate these driving stages. <laughs> Naturally, you want to speed up to get them over with. But when you speed up, your car goes to the top of the screen and you can't see what's coming at you. Whether it be ghosts you're trying to catch, gas barrels, or drunk drivers. Fuck! Assholes! <laughs> so you might be wondering, is this all you do in the game? Just go from building to building, catching ghosts and dodging cars? Actually, is it? Well, yes. This oh, is, it is all you do. I am dead fucking serious. I believe you. The main idea is to I go do. into the Zool building. But you can't do that until the game says you can. How it decides that, I don't have a fucking clue. Maybe it has something to do with how many ghosts you catch or when the PKE Maybe? energy gets to a certain number, which would Maybe. probably mean just letting the ghosts go in. So, I don't know. For whatever reason, you're not allowed to go into the Zool building right away. Maybe there's like an invisible barrier that takes like a fucking hour to- Did you see those two ghosts going in at the same time? Look, wait. <laughs> they formed a new being. A more terrifying being than ever before, look at that! That takes like a fucking hour <laughs> to go away. Also, why is it called the Zool Building? If it's what meant even to be does that mean? Yeah. the main villain in the movie, it should be Gozer. Gozer had two oh? minions, the key- I really don't remember that person. Master, also known as Vince Clortho, and the Gatekeeper, also known as Zool. So, why is the building in the game named after Zool? Who knows? Yeah. So anyway, it takes forever to be allowed entry into this building, so in the meantime, you just keep catching ghosts. After doing this for so long, you start to wonder, who pays you to catch the ghosts anyway? And why are the ghosts so generic, innocent, and cute looking? They don't do anything to you, so why are you busting them? Because yeah. busting makes you feel good? Yeah, yes, because busting makes you feel good! <laughs> well, don't the ghosts have a right to death? 
but you also have a right to bust. Obviously, I'm thinking too deep about it, but that's what happens. That's what happens when you play such a boring ass shitty game. Your mind gets delirious. <laughs> I mean, right now, I feel like I'm going fucking crazy. So crazy? Finally, you get I was a crazy once. Says, Enter <laughs> but it's at the very bottom of the screen, so you need to be paying attention. Seriously, half the time I don't really notice it because I'm not looking down there. A little sound cue would have helped. You fuckers. Now you go into the building, and it's a breath of fresh air to see something different. But unlike oh. the rest of the ghosts in the game, these ones harm you. In order to move through the stage, you have to keep tapping the A button as fast as you can. And why couldn't you just use the control pad? Now you move so slow, the ghosts are impossible to dodge, and constantly going up the stairs doesn't help either, since... I mean, I guess that's why they move, you move so slow with that button, because you're, you're supposed to be hard to avoid them. You're basically defenseless. You can't get away when you're on the stairs. Oh. Now when the ghosts touch you a few times, you fall. And when you fall three times, you're dead. I guess the, the main point of this is patience and, you know, actual, like, uh, somewhat a bit of strategy. Actually paying attention to them and being patient. Which, I can tell that, you know, our angry video game nerd is not the best when it comes to patience, but... <laughs> yeah. Then the game's over, and if you want to try again, you gotta start all over from the beginning. Now, oh, wow. let me ask this. Why can't the Ghostbusters use their proton beams here? Well, let me answer my own question. That would mean making the game resemble a decent side-scroller shooter. And the problem there is that the game would actually be kind of good. And apparently, <laughs> that wasn't what they were going for. Yeah. So, playing through the game a second time, just for another shot at that damn stairway, it would be wise to invest in some items to help you out. There's an anti-ghost suit that supposedly gives you maybe two extra hits from the ghosts. Then there's the ghost bait. What kind ghost of food hood? will ghosts eat? Actually, yeah, since when the ghosts need to eat physical food, what the heck? Then there's the sound what? generator, which I think slows the ghosts down, but forget about it, it's too fucking expensive. Yeah, that's a lot of money. So anyway, now you know why a lot of these items are so important. You need every bit of help you can get. But you'll never have enough money to buy everything in this game, especially when you keep getting hit by the drunks and fuck, I'm at- So what, you have to like, select a couple? You know, plan which ones you actually want to use in the end? Out of gas. Is really that it? sucks that you need to keep refueling your car. It sucks even harder that the gas costs money too. More money than it does in real life. So you need to keep catching ghosts for money, you spend the money on the gas that you need to catch more ghosts, and it just keeps on going. It's an endless cycle. You know what I find funny? <laughs> that all the way back here, back in the day, back in these times, and in real life, you know, in like real life current times, gamers always complain about micromanagement. <laughs> It seems to be the same throughout the ages, at least. Eventually, that's you one see consistent the Enter Zoom thing. building message again. But sometimes, you're not fucking ready, because there's equipment that you still need to buy in order to get up the stairs. The offer to enter is only good for a short period of time. So by the time you catch enough ghosts, make enough <laughs> money, and buy the gear you want, it's too late to enter the building. The only way to get that offer again is to go catch more ghosts and wait another hour, or however long it takes. The only sure oh. way to be able to go in the first time is to trade your traps, the ghost vacuum, and whatever other equipment you don't need for the stairway stage. You can only hold four items at a time anyway, so you absolutely need to trade something in. But by the time you get the message, drive to the store, trade your shit in, buy the stuff you need, and come back to the Zool building, you're too fucking late. So what do you gotta oh, wow. do now? Catch oh, wow. more fucking ghosts. <laughs> so go back to the fucking store again, trade your regular stuff back, and fuck, I hate this fucking game. At this point, it's like the game is trolling you. Like, putting your objective right there. But just very slightly out of reach, because you're just not ready, you're just not prepared yet. But, and by the time you are prepared, well, you're not... It's not available, it's not available anymore. What were they thinking? Well, let's try to get through this stairway and hopefully see the end of the game. I think one of the problems is that my thumb gets tired pressing the button. So the hell with this controller. We're going turbo. Alright, drop the damn food. Oh? Get the fucking food. Get out of my way. Out of my uh, way, go. bitches. I mean, that's good enough. Go, 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 yeah. Bait doesn't do shit. 
even if you outrun the ghosts, they never leave the screen. Once you start climbing the stairs, they scroll up with you, and as soon as the ghost bait's off screen, the ghosts start chasing you again. So what's the point of dropping the ghost bait if you're not allowed to go up the stairs to get away? I mean, what am it I gave just you gonna a... do? Just drop the... It gave you a tiny bit of a window, but it's still not really that useful, yeah. Wait and stand there? Why would I do that? Oh my god, now they're right in the way. How am I gonna get up there? Oh, come on. Go Wait. Oh, I think I can just barely do it. Ah, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, 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 boy, right in between two of them. How you like that? Oh, man. Uh oh, oh my god. Oh, oh fuck. Uh, he has to fuck. Oh. oh, please, Game Genie, grant me three wishes. That's right, we're gonna cheat. But there's only one cheat I care about. Wait, is that a cheat? Like, there's an actual cheat, like, physical device? Wait, are you serious? That's a thing? Immunity to... That's, like, that's mind-blowing to me for some ghosts reason. Ghosts on the stairway. Well, at least now I can't get killed by the ghosts. But that still means that it takes all day to get up the fucking stairs. You have to get up these many? I thought he was, like, right there. I thought, like, he had, like the one that's right out of, like, the, the view of where he got, like, the furthest the last time. He's as far as you have to go, but no, you actually have to survive it this just long? Keeps going. This Even if far? you did it with the control pad, it would be tedious. But the fact that you're supposed to tap the button the whole time and dodge ghosts? And I've counted, there's 22 floors. What do you think that's enough? I mean, what the fuck were they fucking thinking? Yeah, who's gonna win this just by pure, like, skill at this point? Unless they are, like, the most patient saint ever. This is the worst game I ever played in my life. It's worse than Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Well, maybe not that bad. A and then I they run. That game. They move like slugs the whole fucking time, but as soon as they get to the top, they run like they got propellers in their asses. <laughs> well, here's what the, the last screen of the game, and it looks like shit. The whole layout is designed like a grid with a flat gray floor. There's no background; it's just black. The little ghosts with their tongues sticking out look like. What that tongue doing? Garden Halloween decorations, and neither Gozer or the dogs move. Hey, I can even they name just, the dogs. That's they just stand there, menacingly. It's Vince Clortho and Zool. Zool apparently bought the building that they're standing on. <laughs> now, you know what's really shocking about this part? You're moving around, dodging projectiles and shooting at things. Kind of like a game. Surprising, right? I mean, this is the closest moment that this piece of shit ever comes to possibly being decent. Yeah, at least it, you, you have to do something, but you know not just... Stupid things anymore. What's really annoying? Every time you go anywhere near the bottom of the screen, this happens. Say hello to Mr. Stay Puff climbing the building. I don't know what the point is, but every time when you accidentally go down there, Stay Puff's <laughs> higher up the building. Oh. I can guess that when he reaches the top, that can't be good. So let's show this prehistoric bitch how we do things downtown. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, you're gonna get it. Come on, here we go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Is that a health bar or something? Alright, come on, take it. Anywhere. Oh, fucking bitch. This chick uh, is toast. Oh, there we go. What the fuck? Oh. And adios, I guess? Wait, that's the end? Congratulations. <coughs> Damn throat. No, wait, no. Conglat. Clung. Congratulation. Huh? That doesn't even say congratulations. That says congratulation. What the heck is that? You have completed a great game. And they even they even they like, declare it themselves that it's a great game. <laughs> and proved with two O's the justice of our culture. Now go and rest our heroes. Who who wrote this? And what what were they on today? They did that and they made this game. What 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 were they on? Because there's no way they took more than one day to make that all of this anyway. So they surely were on something very strong that throughout like the entirety of that entire day when it happened. Is it gonna comment what? that it's not even correctly written? Yeah, you're saying that right, buddy. What? <laughs> I have to say the irony. Of taking your glasses off to read instead of putting them on. <laughs> good one. Good one right there. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, even I feel like laughing to that, yeah. <laughs> no, don't cry. Laugh. It's funny. <laughs> ah, fantastic. Ghostbusters on Nintendo.
that you know the funny thing is in the last season i actually defended a lot of the horror games because i actually genuinely thought they were kind of impressive for the time they came out because you know with the things that we have in these years even looking at like 2000s kind of games i'm genuinely shocked that that long ago there were such like impressive looking things but seeing the ones from like 80s and 90s being even though he called he called them bad like me seeing them having like having such capabilities for like being so old still impressed me so i defended a lot of points about them but for once for this one for the ghostbusters one i have to say it was actually legitimately so bad sucks ass but if you've Where seen the my follow review up? of it you already know that so why am i reviewing it again because it's activision. such a humane pot you are telling me that activision had a hand in this you're serious look at that it's right there they had a hand in this wow that's i'm shocked Again? actually because it's such an inhumane pile of shit that it deserves it well this time i'm over the shock of how fucking horrible this game is so i'm gonna be a little more constructive here are five things that should have been improved number one is gonna be a spell check <laughs> Yep, spell let's check, play yep. teacher and grade this piece of shit. Since yeah. it's really short, let's say 10 points off for every error out of a possible 100. So, okay. Okay, so... 90... Oh. I mean, we, we can't finish letter, right? So there should be an R there, 1, 90... No, con... Oh, wait, I, the, I mean the R here. R here. Seventy. I feel like seven. Isn't it seventy? Hey, you ready? Here we go. Well, first of all, congratulations spelled wrong, but it's not even a simple typo. Two letters in two different places are wrong, which probably means they really didn't know how to spell it. So that's twenty points off for yeah, that. That's just because it's so... such. A and then 70 because of the proof, right? Atrocious misspelling. But then why isn't it plural? You don't usually say congratulation. You say congratulations. So Oh, okay, 60, 60, 60. But for some reason, I, I, I forgot about the one. Technically, that's nothing to do with the spelling. It's a different error altogether. So but that's yeah. another 10 points for that. But yeah, let, yeah. Then, you've completed a great game? Well, that's just simply wrong. 20 points for that state. I mean, that's not a mis like a spelling mistake, though. Statement. Even if it was a great game, it shouldn't have to. When it comes to spelling, it's sixty. To announce it, so then you have a punctuation error because the next sentence begins with end. Then you got an extra O in prove. Wait, that's a thing. You can start with end after a after a dot. I did not know that myself, actually. And proved what? Prove the justice of our culture. So it's <laughs> saying that you proved that our culture has justice. Is he gonna go on the minus with this? I don't know. Now, go and rest our heroes. Instead of now, go or and zero. rest, comma, our heroes. It's telling you... Oh, I thought it just simply was being like, go and rest the, the, you know, the heroes. Not like... I feel like you know what I mean. I don't have to explain what I mean. But I thought, I did not think, you know... I, I feel like there can be two different meanings, yeah. But I did not think it was necessarily bad. But I guess it makes more sense like this, maybe. I don't know. You go rest our heroes okay well sorry to say but we had to take off 90 points i mean i just thought it was referring to the player being like go and arrest the the, the characters but like maybe it's supposed to be actually calling you know you the characters the heroes and the come up would make sense then but hey a score of 10 percent means that there's still hope but wait is there any reason that there's one exclamation mark here and then there's three up there that's another 10 points off for lack of consistency so zero. with a total score of zero. F minus. <laughs> it should have said, congratulations, you had the patience to sit through this awful game. You proved your nerdiness. Now go fuck yourself. Now, moving on to number two. The second thing in this game that should have been improved would have been a better use of Ghostbuster characters. Yeah? After all, this is a game about the Ghostbusters. It could at least acknowledge Egun, Ray, Peter, and Winston. Even the first Ninja Turtles game on Nintendo had all four of the Turtles. There's supposed to be four Ghostbusters as well, but try counting them in the game. There's two who fight the ghosts, three who enter the Zool building, two who fight Gozer, and three who enter the headquarters. 
Now look closely at the Ghostbusters. Notice they're all white, which obviously means there's no Winston. So Ernie Hudson, maybe you're glad that you got left out of this crappy game. <laughs> so, number three is going to be better yeah. graphics. The whole game is just unappealing to look at. There's it so is. much gray in the color scheme. It's dull, depressing, and lifeless. Where's the color? Why is there so much gray? Nothing even looks like what it's supposed to be. The proton beams look like a line of diamonds. The ghosts, like I said, are generic and stereotypical. The piss ghosts, look at them. All the same, and none taken from the movie. And the Ghostbusters look like aliens. And when they get out to push the car, they definitely don't look like Ghostbusters. They don't even resemble human beings. <laughs> Number four, better sound. As I've mentioned, the music is tiring to say the least. The game's Ghostbusters, but that doesn't mean we have to hear the Ghostbusters theme the whole time. A little more musical variety would have helped. Or at least, you know, different remixes of the same song. At least that. Not to mention more sound effects. And at last, number five, yet the most important thing of all that could have been improved. So I thought this whole thing was about, like, um, a second game, but I guess it's just, you know, a re-review of the same, I mean, like a continuation, maybe. You know, a little... What do I call it? Call it a follow-up? Let's just call it that, sure. A little follow-up of the first, like, review. Ooh. Better gameplay. This is seriously one of the most boring fucking games mm. I've ever played in my life. Having to buy stuff and getting gas should not have been a part of the game whatsoever. Ghostbusters <laughs> should have just involved going around blasting ghosts. Yeah, just but blasting why was ghosts, that yeah. so fucking hard to accomplish? Couldn't it at least have more stages? Let's count them. Ignoring the map screen or the store, there's the driving scene, the ghost busting scene, the stairwell, and Gozer. That's it. Four stages. Four I can stages. count all the levels in the game on one hand. If this is supposed to be a game based on a successful movie, why can't it have more stages inspired by scenes from the movie? It sucks. It sucks just like a... Does that creature have... That looks like a creature on the forehead of the creature. Look at that! Doesn't that look like there's a, something there? Like legs, arms, head, torso? Sucks. Sucks just like a ghost vacuum. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's you a good heard one. me rant about Ghostbusters and you heard me rant about it again. Well, since we're on the topic, let's check out Ghostbusters on the Atari 2600. The game oh, wait, starts made up right away on the demo screen. So you hit game reset and then the game begins with the store. So you buy your shit, which is really- How do you play things on these? Like, <clears throat> there's so much flashing with the screen. I feel like many, like, modern gamers, if they had to look at this, they would get, like, a uh, motion sickness or something. A weird look. They, uh, a headache just from looking at the monitors flashing so much. Like, I don't even know what these things are that you're supposed to be buying. Unless just that's buy just the camera. And then leave. And that's not how the monitor itself looks. Leave. Fuck. You're supposed to play with the difficulty switches to leave the store, but most of the time, it doesn't work. So, reset the game, buy your shit, again, then leave. Leave! There we go. It's nothing but Wait, trouble. I mean, I can't even get the picture to come in clear. Now, the first thing I notice is that there aren't any buildings. It just looks like parks. And the yeah. driving scene, your car is so big it takes up the whole screen. And it looks like there's a mangled rubber chicken on the hood. There's I was gonna say banana. But okay. No other drivers on the road, <laughs> so there's really no point of these driving scenes other than occasionally to suck up a ghost. So we just a relaxing drive on the road without any actual gameplay involved anymore. The ghost catching scenes are just awkward. I mean, no matter what I do, I can't catch the ghost. It's like the game just does whatever it wants. All right, here we go. We got him. We got him. Oh, ah, oh, fuck. All right, drop the trap. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Ah, oh, you fuck. Nah, what is even happening move anymore? Him move him over. Oh, fuck. Shoot the other way. The other way. Oh, well, we got him. Well, basically, it's the same shitty Ghostbusters game, except it's Atari. So it's appropriate for its time. It was also on the Commodore 64, so at the time, this was a decent game. But on the Nintendo Entertainment System, you'd expect something better. Well, yeah. <laughs> believe it or not, the Sega Master System version was superior. Let's check it out. Oh, it, it you was? Got a good opening screen, the music sounds a little more lively, and you got that little bouncy ball karaoke thing going yeah, on. Yeah, it's certainly better so far. strange neighborhood! <laughs> Who are you gonna call? Cash <laughs> On the first screen, you get to select your car. 
Well, why the fuck oh. would I want those other ones? I want the Ghostbusters. Yeah, well, why would you want the sports car compared to the Ghostbusters car? Like, what do you want to be? Just some kid pretending to be just some like rich kid pretending to be a ghostbuster what this car damn it then right away you're buying your equipment you got this cute little forklift thing to bring the items to your car then here's the map screen and well oh what do you wow think? somebody really favored sega look at all the colors the ghosts yeah. are actually animated too and there's people walking around they're flapping for some exactly reason like birds and the idea dropping the ghost i mean where you go thought the ghostbusters are in a car not a horse and buggy <laughs> so here's the driving scene. Definitely looks way better. I also like that no matter how fast you're going, your car stays near the bottom of the screen. The drunk drivers are also easier to avoid, and you still got that vacuum to suck up all the ghosts. Boom! Oh. Wow. Never seen a car explode just from being <laughs> garbage. Here's the ghost catching screen. Again, way better. Why is it, you why is it flashy so much though? Ghosts, too. You got the green slime. At least you have kind. color. You got those ones that look like banana peels. They really do look like banana peels, and then they turn green and form the Casper, the unfriendly piss. Together to make Voltron. Nah, just kidding, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. Once oh, again, that thing there's again. only three Ghostbusters. When you get to the Zool building, you need to get past Stay Puft. You got three tries, but you gotta get at least two of your Ghostbusters past him. So that means you can only fuck up once. Fuck up twice, and you're back at the beginning of the game. Oh. It's so fucking tedious. At least the game looks nicer than the Nintendo version. Uh, that is, but there's the some positive. Is much better. Most of the time, you're just waiting for buildings to blink red, which sometimes just never happens. Come on. You know, I feel like this one, the, the one single thing so far that's, that would have made this one better, really, in like, you know, like completely better, is first of all, the symbol of the Ghostbusters on the map being an actual car this time around, that would have helped. And, um... Do you want... Just like you said before, like, maybe having the characters actually from the movie and name... Me to catch ghosts or not? Why am I even playing if there's nothing to <laughs> do? Oh, there we go. Finally, when you get past Stay Puft, you get to the dreaded stairway scene. And what oh. a huge improvement over the Nintendo version. It is. The layout's a little less bland, you can move in three dimensions, and best of all, you can use your proton packs to fight the ghosts. Well, we can actually fight back finally. No longer your hand shall be restrained by the unfriendly piss. Finally, you can use them to slap them. Now, With these your proton beam. beams are useless. You can only shoot up. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why in this video, because of the, you know, because of that meme, because of that damn meme song, I keep thinking of, you know, that kind of jokes. I was gonna say now, just like with the boner, you can only shoot up. <laughs> you know, because of the fact that we also call the ghost a peace ghost. It just ties together, but damn it. <laughs> damn it. <sighs> Fuck. Oh, you got them? Ugh. <sighs> God damn! If there's something strange slipping in Jesus. your bed, cut me a break. <laughs> the worst fucking thing is when you get hit just one time, just one fucking time. You start all over from the bottom of the fucking stairs, all over again. At least and you don't start the whole game again. When all three Ghostbusters are dead, it's over. Oh, never mind. Sorry, but your mission has failed. The keymaster and the gatekeeper entered the Zool, so it's not the Zool building anymore, it's just the Zool, and caused Gorza. You mean Gozer? They should actually see the fucking movie before they make the <laughs> damn game. The enemy boss to awaken and destroy the city. You cannot even set foot inside the Zool because you are unable to earn enough money to gain admittance. Oh, so it's like a museum or something? You just need to pay to get in? So all I, I need is enough you... money and I can go up a bunch of stairs to fight. At least they gave you a little message this time about, you know, a little endgame stream, of, I mean, screen about, you know, your loss. The Sumerian shape-shifting god. something, right? Thus, the city something. was completely demolished by Gorza. The game is over. Try again from the start. Oh, really? I thought I could try again from the middle. <laughs> well, Ghostbusters on Commodore and Atari, it was a nice little original game for the time. The NES version was a lame disappointment, and the Sega version improved it a little. Tune in next time, and we're going to fast forward to 1989 to 1990, and we're going to oh, look at a one second more one. Ghostbusters game.
Why does it have a pride flag on it? Like, no, like, actually, is that a, is that a pride flag or what is that? I actually don't know what that, if that's supposed to be that. And why it's, like, there. Like, I'm just surprised to see it, like, there for whatever reason. But maybe it's something else. Maybe something else. I don't know. I don't know. And one on Sega Genesis. The Angry Video Game Nerd presents Middle Finger Ghost. Ghostbusters conclusion. Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo. Well, here it is. The game starts Yo. out with this little intro with Vigo. You see him at the end, too, when you lose, and both times, he does the Elvis lip. <laughs> so, the first level is under the subway, at the River of Slime. And that's right. Wow. The game actually has levels, with a simple goal to get to the end without dying. And that's what I'm fucking car? talking about! Go that's the Ghostbusters car, look at that! Now that's impressive. Ghostbusters should be nothing more complicated than mm. just running around zapping oh, no. ghosts. So also that thing in the background. So it's a huge, huge improvement over the first game. But that's not saying much. It still sucks monkey fucking pukes it, diarrhea what? up your fucking asshole. Pukes diarrhea up your asshole. Um. That's uh, an interesting way to think about something that's supposed to come out going back into someone else's thing that's supposed to come out of. Uh, interesting. That's interesting because the movie <laughs> Ghostbusters 2 is definitely inferior to the first one. So I guess the formula works like this. A good movie equals a shitty fucking game. But a not so good movie equals a game that's not as shitty. But still bad. This time, the Ghostbusters only shoot slime. They never <clears> use <throat> their proton packs. The what the heck? <laughs> what? Why? Controls could have been better. The why? way you move the gun is kind of awkward. Like it stays wherever you point it, and it takes a moment to aim it elsewhere rather than just being instantaneous. This is a hard one to explain, but just play it for a while, then pop in Contra, and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's also stupid that A shoots slime and B jumps. Usually it's the other way around. As for oh. start and select, they don't do donkey dick. Usually start is pause, but here, there's no fucking way to pause the damn game. I mean, if you, you can't pause it. answer the phone or take a shit, it's like tough shit if you gotta take a shit. <laughs> you gotta take a quick shit. You gotta have turbo turds. I'm trying to play the game, I got shit stains in my pants and an answer. That's the point of the game. Extra difficulty. You're supposed to beat it all in one sitting, soldier, gamer. On my phone that says, "Sorry, I'm playing Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo." What a selfish game. <laughs> Bottom line, have a fucking pause button. God damn it. No, you well, have to become a better gamer. A <laughs> the second level, you're driving around and dodging shit and shooting at ghosts that look like bed sheets with two eye holes cut out, <laughs> sort of like Charlie Brown's ah, yes. costume. The classic ghost, the bedsheet one, the Scooby-Doo ghost. Oh, and the car is alive, because when it dies, it bleeds. <laughs> what yeah. the heck? I, okay, that was actually kind of terrifying for a second there, seeing that happen. What the? <laughs> Maybe the car is a monster too here. <laughs> Maybe we should, we should exercise that instead. Gets mangled into a bloody mess. Yeah, I know, it's red Ooh. slime. Level three is the courthouse. The car, the car bleeds. If it bleeds, it can die. Oh wait, is that Kool-Aid? <laughs> Give me the Kool-Aid. Oh fuck. Level four, you're driving again. Like wait, before, how old is Kool-Aid? There's holes you gotta jump over. Wait, is Kool-Aid actually this old? That it it existed all the way back here, even? But you gotta make sure that you drive over the arrows because they're the speed boosters. Oh, get out of my way! <laughs> fucking ghost. Okay, that's kind of just right, inconvenient. Here we go. Oh, there's another. Oh, come on. And you think I'm doing bad? Take a look at the demo in the beginning of the game. It doesn't even try. It just crashes into everything. The only reason it even gets by is because after you hit something, you're immune to damage for a brief moment. You can pass it through. <laughs> but really, why is the game having so much trouble playing with itself? It doesn't know it can move up and down or jump. The game sucks at itself more so than any human being, regardless of age or experience. I mean, why, why is it even playing itself? At what is game. happening? The irony just baffles me. So anyway, level five is the abandoned subway. 
It seems like somebody's off screen to the left just constantly throwing junk in your way. I mean, what is all this shit? Fuck. Yeah, what is that? So here's level six, the Statue of Liberty. Remember the scene Why in the movie green? where the Ghostbusters used the NES Advantage to control the Statue of Liberty? Well, I'm playing it with the NES Advantage right now, and... Oh, that's such a clever thing to do. If they made like a more modern, is there even any modern game for Ghostbusters? Because if there is one, it would be such a shame to not make it, you know, to be able to control that thing with the controller or I mean, with your, with your mouse and keyboard, too, I guess if it's on PC. But that is, that would be, it would be such a wasted opportunity if they did not do that. If there is a game. That's kind of weird, don't you think, in the movie? One of the most famous icons in the United States being controlled by a Nintendo controller. Which is what, Japanese or what? Nintendo ruled the fucking world. And see what, what? Like, what is the point? They did here. I don't get it. What is the? Is it what I said or what? They created. Is it? Is Nintendo Japanese? I I don't even know. Levels I forgot. The game based off scenes in the movie. That's what I was talking about before. I don't know what these things are that you're supposed to be <laughs> shooting at, though. I guess they're ghosts, but they're shaped like. They look like dolphins. Just like ghost dolphins. Fish. And if they're ghosts, they're the happiest, most energetic ghosts I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, look at them go. dances in the sky. <laughs> so Maybe they are supposed to be dolphins. So now we're in the city, so I guess it's level 7. And we're fighting bungee jumping skeletons, I think. I thought they were like babies for a second. I thought they were just like ghost babies. Like very big ones, but the shape made me think they are just babies. Here we go, at the museum, covered in the river of slime. Feet! And I'm covering the, the feet! And this is the final level of the game. And by now, it's all starting to look the same. There really isn't any more variety in the gameplay. The only thing different is the backgrounds. Yet, they're all based on scenes from the movie, like the river slime, the courthouse, the abandoned subway, and finally the museum. But you're doing the same exact thing. Just walking to the end of the level, shooting ghosts overhead, and dodging things that go up and down, bounce across the screen, sweep hmm. across the ground. I mean, that is some gameplay compared place. to the first game this time. Damn, some actual I hate gameplay. All this shit. Fuck. Bitch. Ass. <laughs> it pisses me off. Well, like they say, it's better to be pissed off than to be pissed on. <laughs> so, you have to play through. Ah, another great, you know, great throw at the other game because the ghosts there look like piss. So yeah. The level four times to get all the Ghostbusters through. That's right, they actually have all four Ghostbusters. So when you get to the end, you watch them shoot slime all over Vigo, <laughs> and that's it. He doesn't even come out. Oh uh, no, just the meme song is coming to my head again because they are just, they're, they're all, they're, they're, they're just throwing liquids on that thing. Out of the painting, the game's over. You. Just like all the win. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. So to save time on develop. I was gonna say like so many VTubers with their little like miniatures in jars. <laughs> and boss. Instead, oh. they just make you go I mean, through the last level four times. Just thinking about that. Piece of shit. Hey, come here. That it's dog shit. That's what it reminds me of. Ew. This game reminds speaking me of, of, of dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can Sega do better again? Well, let's find out. We got Ghostbusters on the hmm. Sega Genesis, also called the Mega Drive. We're stepping into 16-bit territory now, yet this game was released about the same time as Ghostbusters 2 on Nintendo. Rather than making their own game of Ghostbusters 2, Sega made something completely original. Well, there's, there's only three Ghostbusters again. I mean, what's their problem with Winston? What are they, fucking racist or something? <laughs> well, whatever the case. I did not even think about that for a second, but that's kind of yeah, that's kind of crazy actually. You get to pick your Ghostbuster. They got big heads and they walk like they're crapping down their pants. <laughs> I'll say they all okay, not all, but like one of them looks like he's really balding. You got dialogue scenes and not one but two stores, an item shop and a weapon shop. Again, resorting to that old tired idea of having the Ghostbusters buy all their own equipment. Then you got the map screen, which. Thank God it serves the only purpose that it should, selecting which order you want to play the stages in. So you can go into the little house, the apartment, the bigger house, the high-rise building, and after you've beaten all that, you can go to the castle. The stages are non-linear in a sense that you don't just run through from beginning to end. You gotta find your way around. You can climb oh. ladders, swim, and explore the whole place until you found and the water. all the boss ghosts, which there's several of. And when you defeated them, you get to lay a trap and catch a slimer in true ghost busting fashion. I've got it! Uh -huh. After you cleared the stage, you get money. 
here's for your services. I wonder if it's not a little too much. Wow, that he has the face of a greedy old lady, so it, you know that hit. And then you leave. So that's the concept, which is enough to keep you entertained. The control's great. Walking and jumping is perfectly responsive. You can easily shoot in any direction. You can crawl. It's fun blasting things. The sounds and music are original, and the caricature. This whole era of games, you know, these kind of Sega games, from what I've seen so far, there's some like really realistic, but also really not like a uh, graphical standpoint about the designs. Like, look at that creature. Look, for I example, find kinda... especially the one before that one. Wait, like, uh, especially like this one. This blasting one. thing. Just look at that. I feel like this was a very peculiar, but one of the most interesting, like, uh, graphical designs in history. Sounds and music are original, and the caricature look, I find kind of... Also, it, like, things kind of took off, you know, from what he's saying, in terms of, um, like, uh, gameplay mechanics with this one, with, like, with this uh, generation or whatever. I'm using, actually. This is what you call a game. I like this. I like this? I can't believe what I'm saying. Yeah, I can't believe it either. What? I think the world is coming to an end. <laughs> Seriously, like fire and brimstone coming down from the skies. Rivers and seas boiling. 40 <laughs> years of darkness. Earthquakes. Volcanoes. The dead rising from their graves. Human sacrifice. Dogs and cats living together. Ma but dogs and cats live together in many households already. What do you mean? Wait, that means that it started. That's what it means. That's hysteria. But don't worry. I'll find something about it that sucks. It like will? those tablecloths that wrap you up? You can't even do anything but wait. They don't even do any damage, so what's the point? Just, just to annoy you. Yeah, you obviously. might as well just have somebody come in and take the controller from me for about five <laughs> seconds. There's also like an a good thing, actually. of weapons and items, which out of all of them, only... I like annoyances in games, to be honest. Not all of them. There's, there's many that I don't like. I like ones that exist. But there's ways to avoid them. Like, for example, in Warframe, there's knockback. You know, being thrown down on the ground, then you have to get back up. But there are mods, for example, that make you immune to that. But you have to actually, you know, do stuff like that. Or ones that make you recover faster. There are things like that. Or in my first ever main game that I ever played, like, mainly, Vindictus. There was, for example, the, the a character called Lan. A character called Lan. My voice is so messed up because of my throat. My apologies. But yeah, a character called Lan uh, has a, like, uh, a thing where you press right click when you're on the ground and do a spin attack with your feet like you're breakdancing to get back on your feet and also damage enemies. I think things like that are cool. Only one is really mandatory. The night goggles. Without them, there's no way you can get through the fire level <clears> because <throat> you can't see shit. Look at this. I can't tell where I'm going. And the goggles run out of juice, so if you're far along in the level and they start to dim, you're fucked. You gotta kill yourself, go back to the store, <laughs> wow. buy more goggles, and then start the level all over again. What a shitload of fuck. I also hate these fire towers. It's like, no matter how well you estimate the jump, you either end up getting burnt because you jump too short, or accidentally touch the fire trying to get as close as possible to jump. <laughs> and also, you have to make sure that you time your jump right, or the fire... I played enough Dark Souls to know that, you know, there are some traps and situations where, yeah, it's gonna be unfair, but you can't blame anybody but yourself. Fire comes up and burns your ass, and if you stand there to even try to think about it, a flaming guinea pig comes out. <laughs> yeah, flaming guinea pigs are pretty weird, but you know what's also weird? When you die, Hello, man. you turn into a mummy. That I can't understand. Actually... Then you got these disappearing yeah, green things. Yeah, what the heck is that? Oh, guess what the toughest enemies in the game are? Co coffee cups. You think they? I was gonna say the mechanics, but apparently no. They shatter after just one hit, but no, they take forever cup? to break. Cup ghosts, which implies that there's the cup, heaven and hell. Oh wow. That means that we have to be nicer to them now. We know that they are living beings. <laughs> I don't get it. Lots of the enemies are just annihilated after just one hit, but not those. Don't fuck with the coffee cups. The boss <laughs> battles are cool, although sometimes really random. Oh yeah, look like at that thing. That's so cool. That comes apart. Come on, die! Those All designs right. are like oh, weird. The way the they head. do things are actually really yeah. cool. I like them, especially the, the one that had like the giant mouth, the, the snowman, the stomach. fire dragon, the, yeah, the, the, guy, the face that emerges from the wall, the woman who multiplies to three. Got to shoot the real one. I love 
how he said the woman that multiplies as if that's not just a thing that every woman does <laughs> as if not as if that's not a thing that you know they they, they they are the only one that does in our species in the first place technically and there's the grim reaper who <laughs> looks like dracula from castlevania 2 then there's the plant which reminds me a little shop of horrors which is an interesting connection because rick moranis starred in the remake and he was lewis in ghostbusters oh. and you got stay puff who relentlessly attacks you during the stage but then at the end, you finally get to punish him for all the shit he put you through. Die, die, get him, get him, get him. Look at that face he makes when get he's him, like, him. not happy. <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> Me when my throat is messed up. Yeah, he's dead <laughs> as shit. In a sea of terrible Ghostbusters games, this one stands out, and it's still fun to play. Yeah, it's actually, I would actually play that. It genuinely does not seem that bad. If you could somehow get your hands on it, I'd check it out. So this concludes my... I feel like this is the very first review I've seen him do ever since we started season one and two. That was actually just generally positive, and I'm surprised. Three part review of all the Ghostbusters games that I can get my hands on. Is it kind of ironic that I end on one that's actually kind of decent? It is. I don't know. I mean, is it any more ironic that the same guy who did the voice for Garfield did the voice for Peter Venkman in the Ghostbusters cartoon? Well, Bill I do not know. Was a live action Peter Venkman, and he also did the voice of Garfield in the movie. What the heck is happening? Yeah, what? <laughs> I don't know. I did not see Garfield or the movie or the Ghostbusters like cartoon or the Ghostbusters like the movies in ages anyway. And one more thing. Ghostbusters 3. Is it really going to happen? Should it happen? Well, if they made the Santa Claus 3. They made some Ghostbusters stuff after, and I think it's not... I did not see them myself, but like from the reviews, they don't seem to be like horrible to the point of like being complete messes, but they are bad, right? They are actually not the same. They are definitely not the same thing. Three, Free Willy 3, Home Alone 3, Psycho 3, The Never Ending Story 3, Problem Child 3, and about 10,000 scary movie and American Pie sequels. <laughs> All the crap that gets shot out of Hollywood's big fat fucking ass. I don't see why Ghostbusters 3 shouldn't get made. I grew up with those movies. I I wonder what he thought when he saw the new movies then, after, you know, he said things like this all the way back in the day. I would love to see those guys put on the proton packs one more time. It's, it's like new, it's new, um, new characters, right? In the new movies, I think. Even if the whole movie is just the Ghostbusters sitting around taking a shit, I'd go see it. <laughs> now, excuse me, I gotta take out the garbage. No, not the car! The poor car did nothing wrong. We already know there's a cop heaven in hell. Maybe the, there's the car one too, we, we can't just mistreat it like that. What is that damn song? <laughs> I don't think that's how the beam works. Ivan Luigi? Spider-Man on the Atari 2600. Let's pop oh? this sucker in here. Wow, we went for like almost 50 minutes of just uh, just Ghostbusters, actually, technically. I mean, it was actually the the other thing, the Atari, whatever, 5,600 or whatever it was. Or was it 500? I mean, 5,200. 5, what was it? Yeah, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're playing yeah. with the Atari two. wireless yeah. controller. Pretty nifty, right? Atari was ahead of their time. Wireless controller? So you're just climbing up the building, you're shooting a web, which is like black for some reason. It almost looks like Spider-Man shooting out like a long turd or something. <laughs> and you can't touch anything. I mean, you know, it's like he has a tentacle. More than anything. Except the yellow parts. So, oh, the web didn't reach. Ah, oh, I'm falling. But you can save yourself if you just keep shooting the web. So anyway, you're just trying to get up here. You can shoot diagonal too, but it's really finicky with the controller. Ah, oh, fuck! Oh. This is a weird game. Oh shit! This okay, game why is, is the why is the web black? Like what? <laughs> what? It's just fucking horrible. It kind of is horrible, yeah. Oh no! Oh no! It's Puderman. It's Puderman. Oh, shit! It's it's El Spidermano. Spider Man! You need some help with this game? I sure do. This shitty ass fucking game's driving me nuts. <laughs> this game. 
Is it gonna be a Jason situation again? Don't be shitty. This is Spider Man. Yeah, it's Spider Man, but I'm sorry, Spider Man. This game really does suck. You must be doing something wrong. Let me help you with this game. You'll help me oh? with this game? Absolutely. Oh, gee whiz. Thanks, Spider Man. I'll show you how it's done. See, you gotta press the up, right? Yeah, I got that part. It's really so easy, it's practically boring in a way. Because you can just go up, up, up. See, I like going diagonal because sometimes it gets boring going straight. Get to the top, get to the top, get to the top. I mean, that works really well so far. James likes the little web. Little web, little web, little web, little web, little web. What is that thing supposed to be? It's like a like a checkerboard or like a disco cube or something. So easily. That's the super bomb. The super bomb. The super bomb. Well, there's bombs in the game. Why can't that bomb look like a bomb? Fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you can't touch the super bomb. Oh, you gotta go around it. Oh, there you go. Watch out! Don't, don't get—he's gonna—he's gonna, he's gonna, gonna get, get you. Ah! Oh, you're falling! You're falling! Oh my god! And you're dead. Spider Man's you dead. Go, you know what's gonna happen <laughs> when you let go of that button? You're gonna fall. Hi. Right. You know this is starting to piss me off, actually. <laughs> there you go. Come on. Ah, oh, you died. Well, you're talking to me. Oh? Load of shit! This is your <laughs> game! Your game! Shit! Fuck! Fuck! God, fuck! <laughs> this is not... Spider-Man has some rough years, huh? <laughs> In this timeline... Why does that web look like so puffy? Spider balls! It's horrible! Don't worry, Spider-Man. It's only a game. Here, have a beer. I don't want this corporate bullshit. Isn't he like underage or something in the like in the in most of the movies? It's Rolling Rock. It's shit rock. Stick to the local brew. That's uh -oh. a local brew. It's shit. Well, we no. got. I thought it was gonna say something like that for some reason. Here's another game on the NES, and we're gonna play it in the top loader. Yeah, we're being pretty fancy today. The game Spider-Man Return of the Sinister Shit. <laughs> I did not expect that for some reason. I don't know why. I'm trying to understand the controls here. All right, A punches. If you tap A, it does. Kind of inconvenient to make the characters so, you know, so dark colored on top of like the background. You, you can barely see yourself. Like Look at that. Kick. Oh, you hold the button and it shoots the web. The control is awful, and the worst thing about trying to review a game with bad control is that you can't explain it. You can only jump straight up. Unless you <laughs> Spider -Man. already push, you know, you're pressing the wrong buttons. No, I'm not. Look, I can't even hit this guy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Get him. Why are you fucking jerking around? There you go. Even when I'm falling, I can't steer myself. Why are you jumping all over the place? Because every oh, time I hit the spider button, web. it like jumps. Well, wait for him to come to you. There's no like jump kick move. Like you can't jump and then do. Is that attack. supposed to be goblin? Well, then don't do that move. Well, he, I can't hit him when he's in the air. Well, wait for him to come down then. Look now, now what's he doing? He's not gonna come up. <laughs> I can't even tell if I'm hitting him. <laughs> I think he's got a hell bar? Did I? Oh, the power bar went down, but you're fucking get, gonna die way before he does. Okay, so that's Come the hell bar. Damn it. Just wait. Patience. There's no fucking clock in this game. There's only 20 of them in the background. <laughs> Thank fucking lord. Yeah, right. I need a trick after that one. Let's against Spider Man really better. But is it necessary to kill him in all honesty? Do we have to kill everybody we see? I'm the nerd. <laughs> I'm the nerd. I was gonna say, you know what? Actually... I feel like sometimes I have the same train of thought with other gamers. <laughs> when we talk about like, like, especially like choice games and stuff like that. So many... So many gamers want to play the fantasy of just killing everything and just being the most, the most murderous bastards they can ever be. Because it's just a... it's just a game. And I'm like, you know what, sure, just do your thing. But personally, I really like to, you know, like immerse myself in my experiences most of the time. So, 
I do try to go for my own choices in morality, especially in choice games. Look how I play. I go back and forth. This is what the nerd does. He just goes back and forth. And this is what was fucking annoying me. <laughs> you go and there's nothing up there, so you go down. And you go down. And you kill something, and you fucking go down. You go down, and, and you can't go that way. So I'm so glad I decided to split this into multiple parts, because I feel like my throat is just going to... I'd, I'd, I'd unmake it, I'd like I'd make itself so you, in a moment. So you go up. <laughs> All right, God damn it! Nothing over here. What the fuck's the point Sickness of this? Sickness sucks. All right, you know what? This this game is a piece of shit. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I can't get up here. Do it, damn it! Even even jump, Spider Man jump, agrees jump, that jump, it's a piece jump, of shit. Jump, jump. Edge. It's a piece what? of shit. It's a bunch of fucking <laughs> crap. Well, time to destroy it again. It's like, yo, the other right, one. We got another game on the Game Boy. To play the Game Boy, you need the game. Here's the game. That's the boy. This is the Game Boy. Boy. The game is the Amazing Spider-Man, and believe it or not, the control is even 1990. worse. 1990. The punch is delayed like a full second later. Why is Spider-Man just boxing people though? That That's the real the question. Way. That's ridiculous. How do I get up? Jump! Jump! I am, <laughs> I am jumping! Look, look, it won't... It you fucking look retarded! Oh! See, now you're being Spider-Man. Mysterio? Shit. What the heck was that? Uh, now you're fucking being dead. Mysterio? Look at this, it's just all this falling rock crap on me. Oh my god, there's a suicide button in the game. What do you expect? <laughs> you're fucking jumping while you're trying to hang onto a building. I can't climb up Going anywhere. in! I'm in. trying! Jump. You have to jump, jump into it. Oh, okay, so that's what the jump button's for. Okay, <laughs> you're pretty much dependent on the web to get over some of these jumps. But how do you do the web? I don't know, the control just does whatever the fuck it wants! Look at that! Holy shit! <laughs> oh my god, I can't- I tried to jump, I swear! This is god awful, this is ass! Let me try that game out. Knock yourself out. By the Spider-Man again! What the heck is he doing? What are you doing on my fucking ceiling? <laughs> Can he concentrate okay, better like that? The control is a little delayed. Uh, oh, yeah. And then you fucking just like do this. Look, now what are you gonna do there? I don't know. Die. Oh. God damn it! Yep. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Alright, this guy's fucking impossible. Get over here, you fucking son of a bitch! What the fuck is wrong with these <laughs> game designers? They don't know what the fuck they're doing! I can't believe they did this to me! They made a game out of me and it's fucking shit! And that does Spider-Man's villain arc begins. He's gonna go and murder, murder all of those game developers and that's how he becomes the evil villain. It's horrible! One more game, Spider-Man 2 on the Game Boy Advance. Well, I'm playing it on my DS to be exact. Alright, well, this is the first level of the game, and you gotta deliver pizzas. They put that what? in the video game? Well, that's pretty <laughs> weird, Dick. Yeah, I mean, you delivered pizzas before, though, right? No, I... Actually, Spider-Man could make a lot of money, you know, working as, you know, something that delivers things with how fast and, you know, convenient his movement can be. No, I, I never did that. No, yeah, yeah, you did in the movie Spider-Man 2. You, I did that at one point, but I don't want people fucking knowing about that. Did you ever <laughs> have to break a window to deliver a pizza? Not on purpose, but for them to put that I, in the game. Oh, uh, that's it, vandalism. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. What? I'm a superhero. I shouldn't be known as a pizza delivery man. I wish Spider- a, a vandalism enabling Pizza delivery man. Yeah. I would deliver my pizzas every day. I'm gonna fucking shove a pizza up your fucking ass. Oh, yeah. Don't threaten him with a good time. He, he he talks about ass and shit all the time. I feel like he's he might be into it at this point. Spider Man, Spider Man takes a dump in a coffee can. Play some games you know with a grudge. Gonna shit out some anal fudge. Look out! <laughs> no. Here comes some <laughs> shitty games. And alcohol is his power source. Takes a piss <laughs> like a drunken horse. Climbs a wall, then he falls. This game sucks his spider balls. Oh no, he's playing the shitty games. When he plays oh, his no. games, oh, no. he feels so ashamed. He no shoots Spider Man. I was wrong. It's not gonna be his villain arc. It's gonna be his depression arc instead. His wrist, but now Spider Man's yep. fucking. 
pissed. Well, like pissed himself. Angry nerd, angry nerd, rather suck on a frozen <laughs> turd or eat some crap from a moose. Gonna chug down some poopy juice. These games are such a great big fuck up. They make you wanna <laughs> throw up all over Spider Man. I re I really thought he was gonna say Spider Man's cock just because you know it was gonna rhyme a bit better. Being like throw up on Spider Man's cock, you know, gonna it, it was gonna rhyme a bit better. So I thought he was gonna say that. After okay, don't judge me. After the things he said before. It would have made sense, and the rhyming would have made more, more like more sense than to end it with Spider-Man. Hey, you still don't own a Sega CD? What are CD you is not for? <laughs> Nintendo to make one? Uh, uh -huh. You have seen the games, right? Ah. Wrong answer, man. Show. Em. Oh, what the? Whoa! Whoa. Wait, that looks kind of bonkers, yeah. What? Wow. Did I see Fallout or did I imagine that? On a CD! Check out the graphics. Full motion video. A posted video that isn't full motion. 64 simultaneous colors. 12.5 megahertz processor. Holy shit. That's what was, That's what used to be impressive back in the day. 12.5 megahertz? Wow. Wow, my own CPU that's literally considered like, you know, outdated by, by today's date is 3.6 gigahertz. <laughs> gigahertz. Things really do change a lot, don't they? Holy shit, this thing is total fucking garbage. How would you like it if what? I conduct the rest of the video like this? Full motion video, my ass. I'd rather it be full fucking screen. So this is the Sega CD. It's a load of ass. You just pop it in the side of the Genesis like But it seems so like so impressive. What what is the problem? Some deformed Siamese twin or something. You ever see Fast <laughs> Case? Oh whatever. No. So put the fucking game in. And oh guess what? It runs off of its own power adapter. Yeah, that's two. One for the Genesis and one for the Sega CD. If it can't run off the same power, why couldn't it just be its own independent system? Instead it's like a fucking parasite or something. Then there's this problem, <laughs> the load time. Load of shit. You can go dump your ass in the time it takes. So if you're gonna play the Sega CD, grab a beer and be patient. So this is what a typical we Sega CD game looks like. This one's called Ground your Zero Texas. Is it one of those like live action game, things huh? or what? It's not even like playing a so game. It's like watching a movie, a bad movie. So every once in a while you get to shoot people behind haystacks. All you do is just drag your crosshairs across the screen and try to kill things. Let's see some firepower. I am personally going to call headquarters and find out what hole they dug you out of. The hole in your ass. <laughs> now we got Slam City. You want some of this? You got it. Okay, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what he's doing either. What are they saying? Yeah, what are they saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's now happening? Double switch. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. My name is Eddie. Hi, Eddie. I need your help. This is my building. And since the neighborhood really sucks, like I. Like this game sucks. So you're just switching different rooms and just. I, I... The original FNAF. It's Five Nights at, at Eddie's. Five Nights at Eddie's. <laughs> What, what is happening? What the fuck am I <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is happening? What? God, shut up. Hey, imagine, imagine that. It's exactly like Five Nights at Freddy's. You just switch to a camera and something just screams at your face. It's exactly that. Up. <laughs> exactly that. Trap. This here is the cult classic of the Sega CD. The premise is that you're watching all these security cameras in this house, and you have to Another track enough. weirdos in black. Why the hell are they wobbling all around? Could they possibly overact anymore? <laughs> And the traps are ridiculous. And everything that's occurring in this house happens in real time, so you're constantly switching around trying to find these guys. Fuck, just missed them. See, that's what happens. The only way to get good at this game is to play it over and over and over. That's the only way to know where these guys oh, I are thought gonna it, be. I thought this was gonna be luck. Yeah, get Ladies. the tennis racket. 
<laughs> Strangely, this is the most woman part of the game. Woman. So is this all you do? Just click around and try to catch these guys? Yes. I guess. All right, this is what I'm talking about. But what? I sometimes forget I'm playing. Is that the man? I think I'm watching a shitty horror movie. You got a scary guy in the shower. It's classic. Oh, I guess, oh it is the woman. He's in trouble. Okay. Uh oh. You know what? I'm supposed. I to don't save know what's it. happening right now. That spoils the fun. What? Um. I don't believe what I just saw. I know this. Yeah, I. Sucks. What? Now we got corpse killer. Unfortunately, I can't even show you much about this game because it keeps freezing. I actually had a lot to say about this one, but right now it's not fucking working. Corpse killer, consider yourself lucky. It's gonna Time break the disc. Oh no, never okay, mind. This never mind. Woman is really, really weird. Woman again. All you have to do is hit the control pad in the right direction. <laughs> That's face though. Right <laughs> and if you're not fast <laughs> enough, you die. Her voice is just annoying. Oh, he has no idea just how big of a thing that became in today's culture <laughs> compared to back then, I guess. <laughs> this kind of voice is. <laughs> this one, there's not much to say. It's just shoot, 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 reload, and shoot some more. There's some minor things that annoy me. Look in the background. This is the longest block in the world, and there's a lot of national rubber stamp companies. <laughs> how do they fit so many people in the car? Then there's this big-ass van. They're all just... You know, laying on the ground, taking a nap on top of each other, that's all. Yeah, but now, this time, there's only one guy in there. There's not even a driver. Rocket launcher. Willie Beamish. Okay, in this game, you're a kid in detention. Oh. At first, it's just like watching a cartoon for five minutes. Then an arrow appears, and you're like, oh my god, I get to do something? So you just point and click at things. Man, I'm so bored. A point and clicker. Man. I know, I'm fucking bored. The teacher talks to you, you come up. The teacher is spitting when talking. Do you see that? With answers, should I say, "Oh, that was my frog, Horny"? Did you say Horny? What the frog? <laughs> That's actually the name. <laughs> the name is Horny. Road Avenger. What? Right. It's a game about children. What do you mean? Well, same concept as Time Gal. An icon appears on the screen telling you what to do, and you have to act immediately by pushing right, left, turbo, or brake. If you're half a second late, you're dead. Well, this one can't be bad, right? The Remember the Park? Genesis game, running around trying to get away from dinosaurs? Well, this is nothing like that. It's just one of those point-and-click games. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, and I get so bored with it, I shut it off before I even get to a single dinosaur. I want some dinosaurs, damn it! Prize Fighter. Reminds me of Ray. I feel like all of these games kind of prove exactly what I said before, that he's not a patient gamer. Bold. I wait like eight minutes for the fight to start up, then what happens? I just get clobbered. I don't even know how to play this. I just tap <laughs> buttons. But all I do is just swat past the guy. How do I hit him? Do I really care anyway? Nope. <laughs> now we got Soul Feast. More like Soul, soul Feces. I knew he was gonna say that. I knew he was gonna say that. That was so obvious. Well, holy shit, I gotta be honest. It reminds me of R-Type or Life Force. And that's pretty cool. So all I gotta say is, this one's not bad. The Terminator. One that's actually getting a good rating? Wow. This one's okay too. I mean, there were some flaws. For example, the enemies are too strong, which is fine, but it's annoying when every single thing you try to blow up takes so much gunfire. It's a literal robot, what do you mean? Even when you're in the present time, there's no bad guys that die with one shot. And I understand oh. when you're shooting the Terminators, they're I mean, even humans don't die in one shot most of the time. Sometimes they do because they go into shock, but many people can survive a, a gunshot if it's not like you know, into, into an organ, at least for a few minutes. Made of metal, but these are human beings. Another thing really <clears throat> annoying is how difficult it can be to shoot things sometimes. I can't stand still when I'm on the stairs. You can't aim <laughs> your gun without moving all around. One thing I have to say, the music's awesome. Overall, this game I can't is even okay. hear the music properly. There's also a lot of games which are just hard to comment Sherlock on, Holmes? Like Sherlock Holmes. It's like one of those early CD-ROM games on the PCs. There's really no gameplay whatsoever. You're just clicking oh. around on things and collecting clues. Kind of reminds me of Carmen Sandiego, but not as memorable. There's also a Dracula game, which is the same sort of thing. You just click on things and watch little movies here and there. Speaking of Dracula, there's another one, Bram Stoker's. Dracula. Oh. oh wait, I heard that name this before. Is actually like a game. You're just going around. 
beating the shit out of animals. <laughs> yeah. The animal, of, the animal abuser bats. is here. Mm, yeah. <laughs> fucking bitches. Kick him in the face. Mm, fucking rats. What is this, Sanji from One Piece so Simulator? Pretty funny. You, you remember when he actually kicked sucks. animals back Especially in the day? This part where you're trying to jump these rocks. Damn. Like that weird, um, you know, the weird things from like, uh, what was the name called? The, the, the place with the giants called? Little Garden, you know, when he kills those two animals in Little Garden, <laughs> literally just beats the shit out of them. Oh, that was ridiculous. I landed right on that. Then there's all these movie scenes taken right from the movie Bram Stoker's Dracula. If I wanted to watch the movie... I just recently saw this because a comment told me about this armor. It looks like, like, looks like somebody just being like somebody that, that was kind alive, but it's just armor. Yeah, I'd watch the damn movie. Now we got wonder dog first you get this long cartoon hmm. some overly happy kid is walking with his dog everything's fine then some guy shows up takes the kid away and then the dog goes inside and his giant metal dick with ball <laughs> i thought something bad was gonna happen like the dog gets run over and in something and he conveniently finds a but no, the dog becomes becomes a superhero apparently costume and becomes wonder dog now we actually get into the game and you have to save the kid, I guess? And you're just shooting stars at rabbits. Yeah, kill those fucking rabbits. <laughs> yeah, that kid was stolen by some adult in a car. We, we have to catch him. But let's kill all these rabbits in the way, because that's the problem here. Can't get up there. <sighs> get up there. Damn it. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll review some of these games in greater detail. But for most of them, there's really not much to say. I mean, the vampire one has some nice moves. Did you see that? Like, look at the, the, the guy just them, there's jumping really like up. <laughs> like this one, for example, Sewer Shark. For this game, all I have is a two-word review. Shit Shark. The only real memorable game off I mean, he's in the sewer, so that makes sense. <laughs> top of my head is Sonic CD, which is debatably the best Sonic not. game ever made. And it's definitely one of the most confusing ones, too. God. Oh, shit. <clears throat> I'm gonna be sick. Alright, the Sega CD, it was one of the first CD-based game systems of the time, so it was kind of fascinating when it came out. The problem was, it was too expensive, the technology was just too young, it just wasn't there yet, and I don't know one person who had a Sega CD. And why is that? Because it fucking sucks! Because it fucking, because it fucking, because it fucking sucks! <laughs> yeah. Think about it. In They're order kind to of own crazy, a Sega though. CD, first you have to own the Genesis. And if that's not enough, Sega made another Genesis attachment, the 32X. Yes, this what? ugly mushroom-shaped piece of shit was the last <laughs> effort from Sega to keep the Genesis alive to compete with its nemesis. Tune in next time, and I'll tell you all about it. Oh, wait, I'm actually curious what that is. But we're actually gonna stop for now, because I want to split this into three parts, and that's like one hour and a bit each, so there we go. Um, I... I like this, like, compared to season 1, I feel like it's, I don't know, maybe it's just because I've seen season 1 already that I feel a bit more cozy with the, with the content, it was a bit more awkward in the, in the first one because I, I never seen that before, like, this kind of content, this kind of old content, but yeah, good times, even though I was very sick throughout all of this so I can barely speak, to be honest, it really hurts, so my apologies for that, but other than that, I cannot wait to see the rest and stuff. I'm also so interested in all of these technologies, like how they evolve over time and games and stuff. So yeah, next time we'll see more. But for now, thank you for watching this video. And if you enjoyed watching it, punch the like button with everything you have and have a great day or night. But for now, farewell and bye bye.